hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's your girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome back i hope you guys are doing all right and may you say blessed if there is something you want us to react to please feel free to motivate us to suggest stuff by commenting down below what you want us to react to by dropping the link down below to whatever you guys want us to to react to uh you can find us on social media facebook and instagram as funny and jesse and just feel free to hit us up say hi or say hi back or suggest something there and we'll react to it um i really hope you guys are doing really really good and yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to in four places Jin enters your body sounds interesting so without wasting time let's get into the video What are the reasons a jinni would enter inside your body? What would cause that? We're going to talk about jinn possession. Reasons why possession occurs. Now I'm talking why would the jinn possess somebody without being commanded or contracted to do so by a magician? I have uh, written down three. The first is in order to further the aims of the shaitan. Secondly, if a person has harmed the jinn or their family, and again, we see this many, many times. For example, they might go to the toilet and relieve themselves and not have the proper Islamic etiquette. And so they may, you know, end up uh, 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 sort of afflicting the jinn with something and the jinn would return back in anger. Or likewise, they may harm some of their children or harm some of them by pouring boiling oil on them, pouring boiling water on them. The jinn can be harmed by some of the things that harm human beings. like boiling liquids and like uh, other things number 3 ذكر شيخ الاسلام love that the jinni actually may love you العشق the last for love وذلك الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم told us what to do when we take off our clothes بسم الله if you say بسم الله a curtain between you and the jinni but how many of us come out of bed in the morning and you want to get your coffee from the kitchen i stopped doing that <laughs> after learning this guess what the jinni is looking mm -hmm. and he's going to go inside that body a lot of the sisters are possessed by jinn because of that reason that the jinni actually likes the women that's why the, the women also should be careful about the way that she dresses in inside her bedroom can the jinni enter the body of the human just like that any time the answer is no there are four conditions the jinni would enter into the body of the human A person perhaps might be at their most vulnerable to jinn possession at times when they forget Allah. And there are a number of evidences for this. The first is the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whoever turns away and lives without the remembrance of Allah, we assign for them a shaitan that will accompany them. When you completely forget Allah is when you undergo, when you have experience, extreme emotions i'm not talking about you get angry but i'm talking you get so angry that you lose your mind you no longer know what it is that you're saying and it's a time when you are vulnerable to being attacked from the shaitan and indeed the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned against this kind of anger uh, in the famous hadith la taghdab do not become angry even when a person experiences extreme joy extreme sadness to the point where they no longer can control their cell themselves and their bodies and what they're saying and what they're thinking then this is a time when a person is particularly vulnerable we also have an evidence from the sunnah that a person is vulnerable in places that are particularly unclean or isolated and the bathroom is a place where which is particularly unclean generally in comparison to the rest of the house and indeed uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would say allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khaba'ith and in one explanation of al-khubuthi wal khaba'ith is the male and the female jinn o oh allah i seek refuge from you with the male and female or from the male and female jinn the second is uh, as i said uh, the dua uh, for intimate relations allahumma jannibna ash-shaytan wa jannib ash-shaytana ma razaqtana o oh allah keep the shaytan away from us and keep the shaytan away from the children that you give us again this indicates to us this is a time when in terms of personal cleanliness you are less clean than other times in terms of your remembrance of allah you are further away from the remembrance of allah than at other times and therefore the shaytan has 
a degree of influence or a degree of um, a potential degree of influence over you and you have a dua that pushes the shaitan away from you at this time. When you go to a new place, you say, I seek refuge with the perfect words of Allah from the evil that he has created and no evil will touch you in that place. So you're in somewhere that's particularly isolated and deserted or you end up in a new place, you drive into a new city, you climb out of your car, you say these words, nothing will afflict you. It's already done. I thought it would, it was going on. Um, uh, this was an interesting video. But what I'm thinking is, uh, I mean, we should learn to keep our bodies clean. That's very, very important because he spoke about being etiquette you know being clean you're leaving the toilet at least wash your hands your friend eating at least wash your hands it's a weekend at least take a shower not only on weekends though like you have to go for work take a shower you're going out take a shower just take care of your body god has given us these bodies not so that we can just be whatever with them we're supposed to take care of them He's entrusted us with these bodies. We're supposed to handle them with care, you know. Let's, we have to, I don't know, live like there's no tomorrow. Take care of your body. It's not very hard to really take care of your body. Just put on clean clothes, wash your hands, brush your teeth, take a shower, you know, all those things. And I'm sure if you do those things to your body, your body even feels nice, relaxed, calm, all those nice 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 things another thing he talks about the gene is um if you harm others or children you're more likely to attract bad spirits out there bad demons out there why should you harm another person um others say oh i did it by accident but um just be in a headspace where you think good things you feel like uh you don't have to harm anyone to feel good about something you don't have to harm anyone to cause them pain you don't have to harm anyone for whatsoever case it is just refrain from that um i laughed at the coffee joke uh when you wake up when you wake up i don't know what islam says about when you wake up though but for me i i've i'm trying to put myself in this situation where when i wake up every day at least i should say a prayer then get on to my phone or get on to doing whatever it is that i have to do like eat or whatever the case just at least pray and um he also spoke about the conditions such as turning away from god and intimate relations when you turn away from god then what do you have left what's that one thing that's keeping you on your toes like going to check you as to how you live in life you know i always want to ask i always ask that question to people that don't believe god exists to people that believe god is exist today if you say i don't need god in my life then what how are you going to live your life from there of course you can live it however you want but what's going to be guiding you in life and then uh intimate relations he spoke about is I, i'm not sure if this is the part he spoke about dress codes are forgotten dress code i mean like i said cleanliness like I was saying about the cleanliness, let's take care of our bodies. Uh, dress code, it's really, really up to us. And if you're in the house, you know, you can wear whatever you want. But at least respect yourself enough to cover up. You don't always have to expose yourself. I mean, in the house, I feel like it's normal. If you're alone, just dress as you want to dress. But if you're out there, it's all up to you. If you want to respect your body, if you don't, it's really really up to you you know no one could ever force anyone it's really the choice is really all yours to make that's a good thing about this world the choice is always yours let me know what you guys feel about the conditions of gene entering someone otherwise this was an interesting video hope you guys enjoyed it as, as much as i did if there's something like this you want me to react to drop the link down below or the name down below and we'll be more than glad to react to it Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.